A flood tide of filth is engulfing our country in the form of newsstand obscenity and is threatening to pervert an entire generation of our American children. Sex sells. Since the early days of television, magazines, and movies, young people have been bombarded with promiscuity and sexually driven images. Images that have been blamed for premarital sex and ending marriages in favor of free, no-strings-attached sexual encounters. However, even with the enticing notion of hooking up over having a relationship, some young people have chosen to try a commitment and monogamy. Why do they try? Why in a country where 50% of all marriages end in divorce, in a place where the hookup culture surrounds them, and in some cases their parents and even their grandparents are still hooking up, would they even try at a faithful, monogamous partnership, or at least would like to in the future? Why? I'm single because these boys need to do better and get on my level. My name is Matt Zarley and I am in a relationship. I am single. My name is Holly and I'm in a relationship. I think personal definition of hooking up is you know, you make like making out, like kissing, a little bit of kissing, touching there, but not going the full home run. His hit cleared the fence in deep center field for a home run. The American League was the underdog, which you'd never have known it, as Nellie Fox and Ted Williams escorted Mickey Mantle around the base paths to make it a four to nothing ball game. Around here, hooking up would mean. Oh, we hooked up, we made out, and then... Uh, I think sex is very, like, you would just say, yeah, we... Oh, I don't want to say a bad word. We had sex. When I say I hooked up with a guy, I, in my mind, mean that we had some kind of sexual encounter, whether it be we made out, we did a little bit more, we almost had sex, or we had sex. You are a girl, I am a boy. We have all that in common, darling. Mm, may I call you darling? Mm. There's no set definition for hooking up, so it can go from actually meeting up and just like finding a common time to, to spend time together, all the way to hooking up meaning having like sex. Yeah, I do participate uh, on the occasion. I was definitely a part of the hookup culture. Not in like a extreme way, but there were times when I just was like, I wanna get with someone tonight, and I would. I would make it a goal and do what I had to to succeed. Do I participate in the hookup culture rarely, but I have at times? No, I'm not a hookup girl. I'm I'm just doing me right now. Yo, answer this question. Are you a virgin? As I'm a 19-year-old virgin, they do exist, so I have never had sex. How does that happen? These guys are not worth my time, so I'm not having sex. I guess I participate in it. I mean, like, we all have needs. <laughs> like, I don't want to, like, just not hook up with anyone and not have sex. I mean... Why do I hook up with other singles? Because I'm single and I can. It's fun. I don't know. Um, when I was in high school, uh, I was really fat. I was, uh, I was awkward. I had braces up till senior year. Um, I had an underbite. So, uh, I don't know. I never really kind of got that dating experience when I was in high school. I only had two girlfriends throughout my high school career. Um, and both of them were very strange and very crazy. And all your other friends. They call me crazy. They just don't get us. We're special, baby. So when I got to college and uh, you know I lost all this weight and my jaw was finally fixed and my teeth were straight, um, I don't know, it was just kind of a world I'd never seen before, I'd never experienced, and I just kind of went crazy with it. The reason we're in a committed relationship as opposed to a casual re relationship is because we both just really liked each other. It started off casual, you know, from when we started hanging out in the summer, and then 
a few weeks into school, we decided to make it official, and he said that, you know, he wanted to be the only guy in my life, and he wanted me to be the only girl in his life. You know what? I've never felt about anyone well, for the way I feel about you. Gosh, Betty, I think you're wonderful, too. I mean, at first it was pretty casual, but as time went on, we kind of realized how much we're, like, kind of, we kind of came, became codependent on each other. And, yeah, I'll just say a codependence, I guess. He said on his, on his car, he said we clicked. And I think that's what it was. Like, we clicked and we knew that, you know, let's be committed. Uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. One of the positives of hooking up is you get to see what your tastes are, what you like in a guy, what you should look for. It releases endorphins is one of the positives of hooking up. Uh, you feel good about yourself. You feel victorious. It's a big ego boost, I will say that, especially if uh, if the, per the other person's really attractive. Ain't she cute? <laughs> it's exciting. Um, you know, if I know, if I go out at the end of the night, I know I'm going home with my girlfriend. It's a sure thing, but there's no mystery to it, you know, there's no excitement, there's no like, ooh, what's going to happen this time? So, you know, every night that you go out or every night that, you know, you, you'll go out with the intention to hook up with someone or to find someone, it's an adventure, it's a challenge. You know, you don't know how it's going to play out. Careful. I think my, my favorite part of being in a relationship is the fact that there's somebody who's there through everything. I mean, sometimes it's exciting to have a hookup and all that stuff, but there's just something really nice about having someone who wants to take you on a date or wants to just watch TV and just like cuddle a little bit or just be goofy with and I can do all those things. I think the best thing about Nick is probably his sense of humor. Um, he makes he makes fun of me all the time, and I hate him for it. But I make fun of him too. So like we have that, we're able to joke with each other. We're able to have fun. We're able to laugh. We're able to, you know, just enjoy each other's time with each other. You know. The hookup culture I thought was supposed to be fun and cute. It's, it seems to be so dramatic. You have sex with someone on Saturday, they walk past you on Monday on the walk. So it's, it's not that fun. I don't think anyone's having that great of a time. Girls are just naturally more emotional. They seem to be more attached to the guys they're hooking up with. So I don't, I don't really see it. It, it to be all that great. It works for some, but for most, it does not seem to be working out. Yeah, I, there was a, a lot of negatives. I think if you do it for the wrong reasons, I think if you just kind of use a girl, I think that's really wrong. Uh, for her, and if you have a guilty conscience, that could be wrong for you. Definitely negatives to hooking up. If you are not mentally prepared for a one-night stand, for someone not to text you back the next morning, or um, you have to know there's a fine line, there's def there's a concrete just borderline between hooking up and um, actually being into someone. And I'll make sure soon I'll be your wife, you'll be my kid's dad. You'll be my kid's dad, so I'll be waiting. Women are more likely to say that they feel ashamed, and men are more likely to say that they judge women negatively for participating in hookups. So I thank him for giving it to me, for, for adding me to his list of girls. I would think that um, hookups might negatively affect relationships between men and women. struggles I face being in a relationship while in college would be not enough time together. I see guys that are kind of, not so that all guys are, but I do see guys that are kind of tied down by their girlfriends. Um, they're kind of restricted in what they can do. They have to ask permission for things. I'm not about that. Um, no. My boyfriend's not allowed to drink water in public, in public, to have these hoes think that you're thirsty. I think some of the struggles that we do 
uh, find in college is time management. I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. but I think finding a relationship is something that I want. Um, if not, I don't know when, but it's definitely something that I want in my life. I would absolutely like to get married at some point in the future. Going out of college, at least, I want to be single um, until I have like a firm place on like who I am, and where I am, and what I'm doing with my life. I don't want to bring someone else along because I can't guarantee you that you know, two years from now I'll still be there for them. I'd say have fun. Don't make finding a boyfriend your whole world. It's okay to do whatever you want, I guess, and to want whatever you want. Go into all of it with an open mind. Don't go in looking for a relationship, but also don't go into something looking for the cheap fling and then leaving. Go into it when you meet someone new, like you, were, like you actually want to get to know them, because that might be the person that you spend the rest of your life with, whether you're ready for it or not. And I think that the most advice that I would probably give to them is, is to you know, be open and honest and communicative about what they're looking for with people um, so that they find someone who is willing to say, oh, I'm looking for the same thing. Although it seems like the hookup culture is taking over society, it's really not. Sure, there are plenty of people out there who are doing it. But there's also a lot of people out there who are committing to something more. <laughs> Don't say anything, sweetheart. I'll paint your face. It's all about preference, really, and what you're looking for. Now, if that means you're hooking up, then that's okay. As long as you're being responsible about it. And if you want something more, like a relationship, then go for it. It's love at first sight When your heart skips a beat Just remember that either way, it's about what you want and what you're looking for.